Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the Redmi Note 10 Pro running on Pixel OS. Yes, another custom ROM video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is an awesome smartphone and the custom ROM support for Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max is insane. Now, I myself have tried a lot of custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and recently I came across the Pixel OS. Pixel OS is another AOSP based ROM and apparently they have built over Pixel experience. So they have improved Pixel experience and launched Pixel OS. That's why I wanted to give it a try. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into Pixel OS, shall we? Now, before we move forward, this video is brought to you by the dot company the dot company is our own brand and we make some awesome stuff we make minimal and cool t-shirts with very high quality fabric and affordable prices we have some cool and minimal leather wallets as well and some caps too so definitely check out dot company by clicking the link in the description box below and as a bonus to all of you guys you can avail free shipping by using the code technolobe so here we go this is the redmi note 10 pro running on pixel os the latest version so first up let me quickly go into settings and show you the software version android version and as you can see it is android 12 so you do get the easter egg as well this one and if we go back over here you can see that the security patch is august 5 2022 so that is actually you do get the latest security patch as well now if you see the build number over here it says pixel os suite 12.1 and yeah, this is the latest build of Pixel OS. Now this is an AOSP based ROM, which means you get complete stock Android, like straight from Google. You don't get any bloatware, any ads, or any extra additions whatsoever. It's a very clean and smooth experience. And that's exactly what I like about it. Now talking about smooth, you do get the option of 120Hz refresh rate. So if you go to display settings, you will get a couple of options like smooth display. It will automatically raise the refresh rate from 60 to 120Hz, or you also get the force 120 hertz option so if you want the display to be locked at 120 hertz you can enable this option but this will consume more battery life now talking about battery life the battery life has been amazing with this rom in fact it has been better than pixel experience as well the developer has done a good job in terms of you know optimizing this rom for the redmi note 10 pro now if you talk about what's working and what's not working almost everything is working with this rom the speakers the camera the display everything is working and if we go to the drm info application over here you will see that the security level is l1 so you can watch hd content on netflix amazon prime video hotstar etc that is excellent it's not l3 it's l1 let's quickly go ahead and do a speaker test shall we so we'll open spotify and we'll play this song So as you saw, the speakers are working absolutely fine. Now, if we talk about the camera app, here's where things get interesting. You get MIUI camera pre-installed with this ROM. Yes, you get the MIUI camera application and it works really well. So you do not get the crappy camera application that you generally get with custom ROMs. You get the MIUI camera application and that is an excellent thing. Now, obviously you can go ahead and install Google camera, which I highly recommend. You can go to my website and install Google camera. So technolobe.com, there you'll find a specific page for Google camera which is called as the Google Camera Hub and here's where you can go ahead and download Google Camera for all sorts of phone. So there is a Redmi Note 10 Pro over here and you can go ahead and download the Gcam for Redmi Note 10 Pro. I will make sure to update this page to the latest version of Gcam available for this device. Now this is stock Android 12. You do get all the bells and whistles that come with stock Android 12 like Material U. You do get the new theming engine where you can change various widgets. You can also change various colors and wallpapers. So if I go to settings and then wallpaper and style you do get all these options wallpaper colors it will pick colors automatically from the wallpaper you can also choose from a bunch of basic colors you can enable dark theme themed icons and change the app grid as well so you do get all the bells and whistles of android 12 basically this is stock android now one weird thing is that now playing is not working so if you go to settings and search for now playing Nothing happens here, like that setting is not being opened. So basically it's not working. Maybe the developer can work on this. If that gets working, then that will be excellent. Now, if I talk about the performance of this ROM, that has been excellent. I have not noticed any major hiccups whatsoever. And that is a good thing. The performance has been smooth and even the 120 Hertz refresh rate is working fine. I have seen very few frame drops. In fact, way less as compared to MIUI. And that is an excellent thing. The performance has been very good and a big fat thumbs up to the developer for that. 
Now, one thing that I do not like about this ROM are extra features. The developer should add some extra features, some neat little tricks here and there, which make the experience better. So if someone from the developer team is watching this, then please add some useful extra features that would make this ROM even better. Now, there is one bug that is also mentioned on the XDA page that slow motion is not working. So if you go to slow motion video, that will not work. And that is a known bug. The developer is working on it. And maybe in the next few updates, slow motion will work. All in all, I'm going to say this ROM is excellent. The main thing over here is performance. It is obviously stock Android. Everything is very clean and neat and minimal. And that's exactly how I like it. Now, if you're wondering about this wallpaper, it is from Backdrops application. It is this particular wallpaper, Wind Woes from KXNT. You can go ahead and install this application and install this wallpaper on your setups as well. It looks absolutely stunning. Now, there are a couple of things that I forgot to mention. First up, the fingerprint sensor is working absolutely fine. It's fast, it's accurate and working really well. You also get the option of face unlock with this ROM. So if you want to use that, you can use that as well. And it is extremely fast. Now let's get to the common questions. Can you use banking applications on this ROM? Yes, you can use banking applications, but is it recommended? If you have a very sensitive bank account with a lot of money, then do not use it. But if you have a normal bank account for normal transactions, then you can definitely use it. Also always make sure to download custom ROMs from trusted websites, then you will be safe. If you download custom ROMs from some shady website, then shady things will happen with you. Now how to install this custom ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. Well, for that, you need a couple of prerequisites. First up, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery installed like TWRP recovery. If you don't know how to do these things, then do not worry, I've got you covered. There's an article on my website with a step-by-step -step guide. That guide will help you to unlock the bootloader and also install a custom recovery on your Xiaomi smartphone. Once you have a custom recovery installed, you just need to flash one file and you'll be good to go. That zip file contains the ROM as well as G apps, and that is excellent. So that was Pixel OS on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.